in the end zone for the score. If you have a difficult time reading the defense after the ball snap, then stick around and watch the rest of this video. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Uh, my YouTube channel is designed to try to help you get better at Madden 18 and uh, try to post videos that are helpful. I also have and something that's really, really important right that I want to remind everybody about that hasn't heard, and that is my premium membership. My premium membership again. will really help a lot. Here in the first half. And what this it basically is, is it's a one-year subscription. It you pay $50 up front, and it gives you access to all of my products, all of my e-books, all of my updates. And essentially, you get a premium membership that you don't get with a regular e-book is you get all of the ebooks that I'll write for the year and you also get a one hour update video every single week. We're going to try to get this week out. We're going to actually have two updates coming for you this week because I was a little bit behind schedule last week. But anyways guys, the question uh, that is posed, in my opinion, one of the more important questions you can have is how to read the defense and specifically how to read the defense once the ball is snapped. It's really, it's really, really difficult. I'll be straight more. honest with you. It's probably the hardest thing to do they go down on the is to be able to read the defense after the ball snap and make a play. In my opinion, that's what now separates good players from bad players. And so Every here is the basic concept that I would say that I have developed over the years, and that is to use your peripheral vision. And, and so what that means is what some coaches will tell you and some people will tell you that they do in their offense is they read the defense based on um, based on and one player. So like they'll stare down to the linebacker and, 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 and depending on his movement, that's going to tell them what the defense is get it to the What I do is, as I down. kind of do that, but I add a little bit more to it. To it. And so, well. for example, I pick out specific points on the field and it normally has to do with the safeties. So, when I, when I snap the ball here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look to the top left safety. And by looking at him, I'm also going to be able to see the middle linebacker, and I'm going to be able to see Play the clock left corner. Down. If those two go into man coverage, here they go to zone, so I know I can check it down to my running back. It's just a traditional to the flat. Flat. It's complete. Um, Okay, so again, what I, what I do with snap the ball is, is I like to pick a point. And I like to, to basically defense. use my peripheral vision. So, for example, and again, you're only as, your post snap reads are only as good as your pre snap reads. But basically, what I'm looking for is, and running the ball, you do have to read the defense a lot, too. A lot of people don't really read the defense when they're running the ball, and I think that's why I'm able to do that. So, here, I'm getting ready to pass. Now, he's showing me that he's probably going to sense pressure off that left side. So I'm I'm kind of ready for that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm not, I'm not going to slide protect. I'm just going to call, you know, let it come in. But I'm looking at my safeties and I notice that they're too deep. So this tells me that's probably going to be some type of cover two show. So I look at that first safety. I see that this time they're in man to man. And my running back is normally able to open. I could have actually dumped it back down. It's right there again, just across another example. Midfield at the 49. It'll be a so same thing here, we'll run the same play again. Down. And now you see the corners are kind of looking at me, but that doesn't really tell me a whole much because this guy is doing a good job of giving me the same look every play. What he's probably called, what he probably so called there was cover two, mate, or cover two zone. Now here's the challenge with post snap reads, in my opinion, is they are very the time sensitive. It's very difficult to do them because it's such a and here comes quick, play number six on uh, this such drive. a quick interaction with the defense. You really have to be on your game. And so what I do is I try to look at where the defenders are going, and I, I don't look at my receivers because I already know where they're going. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to decipher what the defense is. So I look left, right, and then I come. Once I look, once I scan the field, that's when I know where I'm going to go with the ball. So you literally should look left, right, and then throw. I mean, there shouldn't be, if in a perfect world, again, this is perfect world, and, and this is, so, so I look at the point, and, and what I mean by a point is, for, for example, if you look at the screen, I'm looking at the safety, and then once I look at that safety, then I'm going to look to where the right safety is. Now, again, I'm not looking at the player, I'm looking to where 
Like I'm looking at those specific points. Brady and, now on uh, first down. Once I figure that and out, that once I figure out complete. where they are, trying to get it to Tariq um, Cohen out those, of the those points, That's when I know what they're doing. Okay, now obviously down. this is again dependent on you having a pretty good pre-snap hypothesis. Pre-snap hypothesis is something a lot of people, in my opinion, don't take time. They don't really focus on, and that's what really costs them at the end of the day. They don't get easy good pre-snap hypothesis. Okay, so like right here, this guy's ran cover to man, cover to man, cover to man. More than likely, he's going to run cover to man. Just, that's just kind of what I'm thinking he's going to do. So in that situation, I know the play Z spot is a little bit better than PA post for man to man. But I'm going to look again, and there he goes, he goes man. There's my first shot to Kelvin Benjamin. Gets it to Benjamin, it's so, Again, another thing that I think a lot of people don't take, think about when they're doing post-snap reads is they have to limit what they look at because the solution is not looking at every single play. The solution is looking at the critical players that can really change the outcome. Of the play. and in my opinion, the critical points on the field that will then enable you to see the entire field. And so you have to think about your peripheral vision. That's why I look left and really to the right, and then I look good. Okay, so again, I don't know if this video is helpful. I really think that it has potential. It's, it's, this is what I know, I and mean, this is how I do it. So what is your step for post-snap reads? Some people read the safeties. A lot of people read like one player specifically. What, what do you do? Some people just read their receivers, and they just look, you know, I'm going to read my first read, my second read, my third read, my fourth read. But just kind of curious, what do you do? And then lastly, I want to encourage you, I have a whole bunch of footage on reading the defense that's Setting getting ready to the launch in the premium membership. So I want to encourage you just to check that out. The link to that is in the description. Let's and if you have not team. already register for our tournament, there's a video in the description that's going to give you some more information about it. So check that description for that. Thanks for watching and we will